An ancient library. I feel right at home. Oh, here we go. You are Leonard Rawl. You are a godwoken and a thief. You keep your secrets well, even from yourself. You are Leonard Rawl, Godwoken, thief. If you can't earn a place in Lucian's shadow, you're going to steal it. You think you'll find advantage in the Forbidden Library. But first, you have to steal the keys. Your tutors have one each, but you can't risk getting caught. You'd earn yourself a trip to the Chancellor's Chamber, one from which you suspect you would not return. Your best friend, Redalus, was your rival. You knew that he was weak. You made sure the Chancellor knew it too. And while your friend was in the Chancellor's secret room, you stole the capacitor from the Chancellor's own table. But then, you heard a noise. You heard the sound of your best friend's murder. You fled. You hid the capacitors you had taken and set out to steal the rest. You were lurking here, plotting. When you were overtaken with a sense of love, you felt at peace. You felt Lucian's hand on your shoulder. You did not feel the sword blade enter your back. A hunger rises deep within you, a desire for the spirit source. This yearning is not yours, but it demands satisfaction. The hunger dies away, for now. I think I'm missing something here. The spirit of a rather old man dodders around, seemingly oblivious to the condition of the room. He turns and offers you a genial smile. Ah, a new student. I admire your enthusiasm, but I'm just about to close the gallery. You'll have to return in the morning. The ghost frowns with confusion, then wags a reprimanding finger at you. You're new, so I won't report your insolence. But you had better learn some manners if you hope to make use of the gallery. All the powers that a god woken needs are documented in these tombs. The gallery is the most important part of the whole academy, as far as I'm concerned. I will not allow it to be disrespected. I am Master Trevi, curator of the gallery. I'll be here at your service, of course, as you carry out your studies. But there's time for that yet. I'm closing for the night, as I said. Oh, come now, surely you must have heard of the gallery. That's the repository for the god walking tombs. I will not allow it to be disrespected. The ghost's memories slip easily into your mind. His name is Kandor, and he thinks he's ready to ascend. He thinks he can be god woken, ready to step up should Lucian lose the war. He's wrong. He'll die. He did die before he even made it to the Chancellor to ask for permission to fight in the Arena of the One. And what's more, he was murdered. 
You are candor, and you are, you believe, ready to step up. Your tutors disagree, but you want the Chancellor to hear your case. Instead, you find a man you've never met, a great and powerful sorcerer. And as his shadow falls upon you, you realize that this is Lucian the Divine himself. He gives you a smile of the utmost benevolence and grace, and you realize, as Candor, that you are far from ready. You turn and flee towards the library to warn your tutors, but Lucian is too fast. He cuts you down. Your Candor the Godwoken, dead by the hand of the Divine. A hunger rises deep within you, a desire for his source. This yearning is not yours, but it demands satisfaction. The hunger dies away, for now. into you as water to a stream. You are Tarian Grey. You are Godwoken, but you will not be divine. You know this because you are in love with a colleague and rival. You are in love with Redless, and he is in love with you. You have agreed to leave the Academy together, but now Redless is missing. Redless went to see the Chancellor, and you have not seen him since. You're on your way to the Chancellor's chambers when a man's voice calls your name. Lucian the Divine cups your chin, and a gentle pain stabs your heart. Lucian smiles at you, and then is gone, and you worry so for Redless. Believing it comes from her own mind, she realizes the truth. She was murdered by Lucian the Divine. Redless too must be dead, or he would have come for her by now. She bows her head and cries. She knows Redless went to see the Chancellor in his chambers, she did not know that Lucian was already there. She weeps. I think I'm missing something here. 